right, good morning everybody. We're at Kaiser Permanente. I'm here with my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi, hon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here to pick up some pharmaceuticals. It's a relatively nice day. It's, it's kind of patchy clouds. And uh, we're having issues with medication as usual. That's a medication that's hard to get a hold of and it's very expensive so we keep coming back here all right so here at Kaiser Permanente and this is my second time here today and this is mom's third time here today uh, there's something that uh, we've never discussed before that uh, you guys don't know but um, uh, mom has uh, leukemia and it's uh, so far it's been under control yeah. with uh, medication however as some of you don't already know anytime there's a uh, uh, a medication for a life threatening uh, illness uh, pharmacies manage to figure out a way to absolutely gouge you so yeah so um, she's on a, a, a medication called Gleevec and uh, we've been trying to get a hold of this medication since last Thursday and they didn't have any finally we managed to get a hold of four tablets and that's about a thousand dollars worth of, uh, of medication yeah. so to just give you an idea so and um, you know mom has been helping us out and she has been dealing with this and this is kind of devastating right now we've been uh, Mom's on a fixed income, and she spends about two thousand dollars a month on the medication. Yeah, yeah. Um, the um, her uh, insurance doesn't kick in until after forty-five hundred dollars, right? My copay. Yeah. So. And it uh, starts in January, which is what really th throws everybody into a stew. And it's, I know that some of the people at my church uh, that are my age and a uh, little bit younger that have severe disease and need pills to keep them going had the same thing happen you know you go and you think well i have this covered i transferred money into my checking account and i'm going to pay it with my visa but how would i know it was going to be over two thousand dollars the pills run four thousand but uh, you know i shouldn't complain because two thousand is being paid for but my ATM card did not cover anything over 2000 and it was $2,050.58. So that threw it into a fund for finance help, which I kept telling them, I don't qualify, I don't qualify. Because I worked 30 years for a school district in the accounting department, which I paid Kaiser. I paid benefits. and. Uh, I kept telling him, I know from what I read between my Social Security and my retirement, I'm just about a thousand dollars over too much, you know, that because this company is making so much money. Oh yeah. Four thousand dollars for uh, pills for a month uh, to keep the uh, cancer cells from growing. And so far, it's I'm at a level, you know, that it's... Uh, not over but not getting worse it's so stressful because you can't plan what little money you have saved to help Kevin and Val out and I want to help them out so anyway that's my story it, and I'm sticking to it so now <laughs> I got familiar. four pills that will last me till Wednesday two pills a day and I have two for tomorrow uh, and if it rains tomorrow uh, I won't be able to go because I don't drive in the rain, I don't drive at night, I don't drive freeways. So Kevin is here helping me out because if you should see these dark clouds, yeah, it's we're going to have pretty rain bad. any time, you know, and, and that, that's stressful for me to have to drive seven, seven lousy miles, but by street, and it gets you upset when you're my age. So having worked for a pharmaceutical manufacturing company, we were uh, about to make a product that was going to be a generic for um, a product that was $200 an injection and for a, a deep vein thrombosis mm. and um, 
once it went uh, um, generic, the price went down to thirty dollars an injection. So, I, and I guarantee you, they were still making a profit at thirty dollars. So you're being gouged, and every time you talk about it, it they always say, "Well, it cost us so much money in engineering and uh, uh, processing, going through FDA." And yeah, I know better than that. Uh, so we're just it's they're just taking advantage of of old and of ill people. So. Now, other things that you guys didn't probably don't know is that is that my brother Ed is suffering from prostate cancer. Yeah. So he's been dealing with that for several years now. Yeah, it's, and, uh, it's five years. Yeah. Uh, not me. I had a uh, bone tumor when I was 23. Lost my hip because of it, but uh, has not returned. So, knock on wood. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Mom is uh, on her way home, and I'm getting ready for my flight tomorrow. I haven't flown in probably six years, so um, I've uh, flown since 2001, obviously. But uh, let me see. So that's 20, maybe five years then, because um, last time I was on a plane, I got your standard search, strip search, because of my artificial hip. So um, I am going on in sweats, which is kind of what I'm wearing now. Just sweats. I got pockets in these sweats so I can stick my wallet in my pocket. And that is all I'm bringing is my wallet. Um, I got this really, really screaming green uh, carry-on that I, there's absolutely no way I could miss this, right? And um, so all I have is uh, underwear, t-shirts, socks, and two pairs of jeans because that's all I own anymore. So, and that is all I'm taking. I have uh, a new toothbrush I can throw in there. I'm not going to bring toothpaste because I'm not going to the desert or anything. I'm going to the uh, family house. So, that's going to be it. be leaving around 2 tomorrow. I'll try to make sure that my batteries are charged. And bring my charger with me. That's going to be the only thing. It's the camera and the charger. So, yeah, so that's it. So, guys, as you all know, I tested gravity, gravity yesterday, and I took a pain medicine, and it really knocked me for a loop. And I guess being overly tired and taking the pain medicine. I went to bed really, really early, and I slept pretty much the whole night, so I really needed it, though, and uh, I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning with my dad. He was sick. It seems to be the same time every morning, 2 o'clock, he wakes up, and he's just not feeling good, and... Uh, I'm hurting still pretty bad today. I got a nice bruise on my hip and uh, just kind of trying to relax today. We had another house full. My cousins Kelly and Ryan did leave today. Um, my nephew Sean and his wife Bree and the kids came over and we had a barbecue before they all left and just like I said, I'm just sore and tired still, and <clears throat> I don't like taking pain meds to begin with, and I took that one, and I guess it's what I used to take, so I didn't think anything of it, and I guess since I've lost all my weight, taking it I really, really affected me big time, so yeah, not again. I'll suffer with the pain, but... I still feel very, very drugged out and very tired. So I am going to do my closing and everything real early tonight and send this over to Kevin. And um, sorry that I didn't do any filming today. Uh, it's just been a rough day. So I hope you guys all enjoy hanging out with Kevin mainly <laughs> and just a little bit with me. And if you did, please give us a great big thumbs up. If you have not done so already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and help your neighborhood community to grow. And share this video with absolutely everybody you know. And we, we will see you guys all 
tomorrow. Bye.